Hello, hola, ciao, greetings and salutations team and family. I am Coach Audrey Nimmo from Idea Runberg. Today, I will be taking you through the Tabata component of our exercise routine. You should have already completed your warm up, finished the last round of your workout, and now you should be on this video. This high intensity interval training was developed by Japanese scientist Itsumi Tabata. It is intense. We're asking for 20 seconds of maximum effort with a 10 second break in between each exercise. Today we have four exercises and two rounds of those four exercises. We'll go through each one of those shortly so that I can give you modifications to make them more difficult or less difficult, easier or harder, just depending on what you need. So. First and foremost, if you're going to be outside, please take precautions of social distancing, wear a mask. I won't wear that for the video so you can hear me a little bit better. A little bit of a towel to dry off. Definitely having some water to hydrate. This is super important. It keeps our muscles moving like a well-oiled machine. We've got to stay hydrated, so make sure you drink your water. Before we begin, I would like to thank our service men and women, our military, we appreciate you, all of our first responders, our healthcare workers, all of you on the front lines at this time helping to keep us safe. Appreciate you CMP for keeping us fed. Thank you so much, you are appreciated. So before we begin, let's go over what those exercises are. We're going to be doing bird dogs, static lunges, break dancers, and a combination of bicycles and jackknife. So I'll modify up or down depending on what's needed, but most important, I want you to remember to stay safe. Don't try and do anything too fast, okay? We wanna make sure your form is good. It's not just that practice makes perfect, but perfect practice makes us perfect, okay? That way we stay safe during this whole exercise. So yes, maximum effort, but do it so that you stay safe. Good posture, good form, okay? All right, first one is bird dogs. If you just finished the other workout, you may wanna kick off your shoes like I have, just to get grounded. Take a couple of deep breaths. We're gonna get into position, all fours. And we're making sure that we make a nice flat tabletop. Make sure you're not rounding at the back or arching at the back. You want to keep your abdominals engaged, stay breathing. Don't just hold your tummy tight and hold your breath. Keep breathing while you do this. And we're going to reach out the opposite arm and opposite leg. Also, keep a soft bend in your joints. Make sure you don't lock out your elbows for this. We're going to reach out, hold for two seconds, come back in, and switch. That is our bird dog. If that is too challenging at this point in time, until you get your bearings, make three points of contact and reach with one arm or reach with one leg. That way you can work on your balance and develop those skills. Next is static lunge. For a static lunge, you can see I'm setting up at an angle so you can watch. My back heel on this foot is up. It's raised, it's not down on the ground, okay? We wanna make sure that we're not pushing our knee forward or putting pressure into our toes on the front foot. We're keeping the pressure in the heel of the front leg, dropping down, holding for two seconds, and then coming back up. Again, from this angle, you can see that it, I'm not putting both feet on one track, but rather two separate tracks. That way I can keep balance down and up. If that's too deep for you, just hold this position. Because we're gonna be doing both sides, we'll hold it for 10 seconds and then switch to the other side. If this is too easy, try and balance on one leg to do a standing, or uh, excuse me, a single leg stance, a single leg squat for this instead, okay? Moving into break dancers. Again, on all fours, tabletop position, tummy engaged. Breathing, we're gonna raise up, open the arm and the leg to the opposite side. If this is too challenging at this point, do what you can safely. You may wanna practice just opening your arms 
or just trying to thread your leg through, those are perfect as well. All right, last but not least, bicycle and jackknife combo. Once we're down, we want to make sure to keep our abdominals engaged. So if you find that there's a little space between the floor and your low back, I want you to draw your belly button down to the ground and make sure that you're not just lifting your neck. You want your shoulders to come up at the same time. So we keep your neck protected. Okay? We're gonna lengthen out, bend at the elbow and bend at the knee to come together. Up at the same time, reach the arm out, elbow out, straight arm, straight leg, and then switch. I'm not cranking on my neck at all. I'm just barely putting it right by my ear. If this is too challenging at this point, and you can only do something that is safe for you, I would like you to focus on just raising up and rotating. either with your upper body or focusing on your lower body movement. Maybe just this. Either one of those is perfect to do as well. Do what your body can handle. Listen to your body. So on that note, make sure you got a smile, positive attitude. We're gonna boost our immune system when we do this. So guys, let's get ready. Here we go. Here we go with A nice deep breath. Get ready for lunges, static lunges. Switch legs. Take a little break. Get ready for your break dancers. And breathe. Three, two, one, go! Bend at the bit at the knees, the hips, the ankles. Stop. 
Get ready for break dancers. Three, two, one, go! there. It's okay. Just keep going. Don't stop. Three, two, one, go! was intense. That was great, guys. Good job. Way to keep going no matter what. Even when the TV comes on and it's not supposed to. That's okay. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. What I want to remind you of is to breathe. This is really important, okay? We can do a lot of things that don't require much, but breathing is required for just about everything that we do. So, Pat yourself off a little bit. Drink a little bit of water. And I want you guys to do something with me. Give me five, okay? I know you're used to giving five for a cue, for silence and attention. Right now, I want you to give me five so you can take five. We're gonna breathe together. Five deep breaths. And you're gonna trace your hand on the way in, breathing in, we're gonna go up and out on the way down. Ready? Breathe in. In and out. See if you can slow it down. Thank you guys. I'm so proud of y'all for doing this, for staying home, staying safe, keeping that social distance. It's super important right now. We want you to stay healthy. We love you guys. Got to remember to take the survey at the end of this so that we get some feedback. We really appreciate you guys. I want you to continue to stay safe. Remember, we love you. Team and family always.